It's Halloween, which means it's finally time to pick our pumpkins. Our pumpkin started out a seed that we planted into small pots all the way back in March. Then they grew into seedlings, and when they were big and strong enough, we put them outside in the garden. But turns out they needed a lot more space than we thought they would. Yes, it's now October. That's seven months of growth, and they have taken over. Show us what's happened, Maddie. There are two pumpkin plants in just this small patch of ground. That's not enough room for them, uh, so they have grown all the way along the wall, over this plant, the sage bush, all the way over this plant, round the corner to the bins. But how many pumpkins have we actually managed to grow? This was the first one to start growing. Peter the pumpkin, guarded by a dinosaur. Number two, Brian the beast. And we discovered Penny the pumpkin. Hiding inside the bush. All right, Penny. And over in this corner of the garden, we have our third pumpkin plant and our fourth pumpkin, Little Pump. Little Pump! We've left our pumpkin plants right till the end of their growing season, which is why some of the leaves are looking nibbled by insects and a bit worse for wear. Today, we're going to pick a pumpkin, we're going to carve it into a lantern for Halloween, then we're going to eat it. But first, we thought it'd be cool to show you the different parts of a pumpkin. Which means it's time for a... Pumpkin, pumpkin dissection. dissection! First things first, what is a pumpkin? Pumpkin. Well, a pumpkin is actually a fruit, just like an orange or an apple. And the fruit protects the plant's seeds that are inside it. But it started out as part of a pumpkin flower. Now, pumpkin fruits are actually from a family called the cucurbits. And they include... Cucurbits. Cucurbits. Cool word. And they include uh, cucumbers, courgettes, marrows, and even melons. Hmm. Pumpkins grow on vines, and you can see that this vine has spread super far. Uh, and look at the leaves. The leaves are as big as my face, and that's so they can soak up loads of the sun's energy, which is used to make food for the plant and it means that Penny can grow. If you look closely at a vine, you might be able to see these thin, twisty strands. They're called tendrils, and tendrils will wrap themselves around things like fences or posts or even other plants, and they anchor the plant in place to protect it from being blown around by the wind. And I'm looking at it now using our close-up lens, and they are so awesome. They're like little coiled-up springs. Aren't they? Like, boing. 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 <laughs> the part that attaches the pumpkin fruit to the vine is called the stem. It's a little bit like the pumpkin's handle. You can use it to pick it up. And it delivers the goodness from the leaves down the vines into the pumpkin fruit so it can grow. When we get a close-up look at the leaves, the stem or the vine, you can see that they are covered in these fuzzy prickles. Now, these hairy little spikes help to protect the plant when it's still growing from any larger animals that might want to come along and eat them. But they can be spiky, which is why we're wearing gardening gloves. We are about to harvest Penny by cutting through the stem to take her off her vine. But this bit can be a bit fiddly, so we will be straight back. <laughs> okay, let's open her up. There she is. Now, the skin on the outside is actually quite thin, as we'll see soon. Uh, it's often called the rind, and this one is kind of yellowy, but you can get them in all different colours, more orange. They can be different shapes, different sizes as well. Yeah, uh, sometimes you'll see really obvious lines around the rind, and these lines are called the ribs. And together, the rind and the ribs act a bit like a coat of armour, protecting the pumpkin from disease, insects, or other animals that might want to eat it. Now, we need to carve Penny. We want to have a look at the inside of the pumpkin, at the seeds and everything that's in there. In order to do that, we need to open it up. We're going to carve a lid. I've got a bag of special tools. Uh, make sure you do this with an adult and be careful. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. Here it comes. Open it up, take the lid off, pull on the stem. Yay! Yes! Okay. Wow, do you want to do a swap? Look at that. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. That looks so good. This is so cool because we've been growing this for seven months. It oh, feels wow. so special to actually... Smell it. it smells so wow. good. The reason a pumpkin sounds hollow uh, like this is because there is a space inside it. It's called the cavity. And that's eventually where we'll put a little um, lantern to make it glow. But inside that cavity are the pumpkin brains. Oh, we need to get in there. Not really, not actually the brains, but if we can scoop the inside out, you'll be able to see what we're talking about. Oh, there we go. Inside the cavity, we have the pumpkin's brains. <laughs> I'm trying to use a pumpkin scoop. Actually, I might just use my hands. Do we have a bowl? 
Can we vote? We've got a bowl. Go here for it. Go, go right. for it. I'm going in here. There's what I love about this is that actually the pumpkin's brains are this kind of fibrous material. We call them fibrous strands. Yeah, the gooey bits. And the gooey fibrous strands, each one actually connects to a seed. Here is a seed. There it is. How cool is that? And then they go from the seed through the fibrous strand up to the stem, stem to vines, vines to leaves, and they bring the nutrients all the way down to... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> They're quite slippery. <laughs> there are so many seeds. Yeah, and when those seeds are fully grown, we could plant them into some soil and they would grow into another pumpkin. The cavity is pretty much empty. So let's swap over them. Okay. Give that to you. Oh, tell us about the next part. Now, this bit here, this thick, juicy, lovely bit here between the rind and the cavity is what we call the pulp. Now that's the bit that the day after Halloween, you want to chop up, you want to roast it in the oven, you want to <laughs> put it in a soup. Ah, oh, it's absolutely delicious. But we're not the only ones that like to eat pumpkin. Uh, other animals like deer will come along when the pumpkin is ripe because it will be a bit softer then mm. so they can eat through the rind, get to the pulp, but they'll also eat the seeds and that's a good thing. Why? Yes, because the seeds, they're actually protected by a seed coat. That means they don't get digested. So when uh, a squirrel or a deer or whatever eats them, it passes all the way through, comes out the other end in their poo, cue sound effect. Nice. And that means that it can then start to grow into a new plant. Yeah, but we're actually going to cook our pumpkin first and probably turn it into some soup or a cake. But before that, cake, hello, before that, we need to carve our pumpkin and get it ready for Halloween. Perfect. Happy pumpkin. Not when I finished with it. <laughs> inside, pop the lid back on and wait till it gets dark. Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween! <laughs>